Hello everyone, this is Ethan and welcome back to another YouTube video. This is the Seagate Firecuda 530 NVMe SSD for the PlayStation 5. The drive comes in four sizes, 500GB, 1TB, 2TB, and 4TB options. Prices start at $150 for the 500GB version, going up to $940 for the 4TB version. I went with a 2TB option for $450. Unboxing the package, you are presented with a document about the data recovery services that Seagate provides. Stickers, and then instructions, paperwork about the warranty, and finally, the drive itself. Here are the specifications of the drive. Okay, so first impressions of the drive are that it definitely has some weight to it thanks to the custom built heatsink. The build quality is also very high end, which is important because I intend to keep this drive throughout the life cycle of the PS5 until the PlayStation 6 is introduced. The first thing to do before installing this drive is to turn your PlayStation 5 completely off. After a few minutes, unplug it and set it down on a flat surface with the disk drive facing up. With the PS5 safely down, place one hand on the bottom of the console and the other hand in the top corner as shown. Brace the console with the bottom hand and use your other hand to lift the plate up and it should slide right off. Using a Phillips one head screwdriver, unscrew the screw that holds down the plate covering the SSD expansion bay. Place the screw in the cover to the side as they will be needed when the installation process is finished. Here are the specifications for the expansion bay. The next order of business is to unscrew the screw that holds down the spacer in place. Take both and put them to the side. Take care not to lose them as they will be critical for holding down the SSD in place when it is fully installed. Take the spacer and put it in the hole where it says 80. Depending on what SSD you get for your PS5, you may need to adjust where the spacer goes depending on the length of your drive. Afterwards, take the SSD and place it into the connectors. You should hear a click when the drive is fully inserted. Take the screw and place it into the spacer. Take your screwdriver and tighten the screw so that the drive is firmly in place and doesn't move. With the drive in place, it is now time to place the cover plate back on and screw it into place. Screw it tightly to ensure the plate does not come off. Place the PS5 cover plate back on and line it up and push with one hand as shown until you hear a click. Turning on the PS5, you are greeted with this message in two options. Don't format and turn off PS5 or format M.2 SSD. Select format M.2 SSD. Once selected, the PS5 will do a test assessing the speed of the SSD. Anything higher than 5500 megabits per second is what's needed. As you can see, the drive is significantly faster than the PS5's own SSD, which is good for playing games off the drive. Going to the settings menu and selecting storage, we can now see we have SSD listed as M.2 SSD storage as an option for storing and playing games now. Here is the game control being played off the SSD. As you can see, there are no degradations in performance at all in terms of loading screens and playing. Well, you've just made it to the end of this video and I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time.